In this video clip, we learn errors in hypothesis test or decision making in a general sense. There can be two types of errors. Type one error means we reject a true null hypothesis. This can be the case that a person is uh, ill with some symptom and uh, actually he has COVID-19, but uh, after some test, the doctors make a claim that this person has no COVID-19, so he's healthy. So here, the doctors made a type one error mistake. The probability of a type one error in hypothesis test is alpha. This is called the level of significance of a test and is set by researcher in advance. So we typically use a small alpha value like 0 0.05 or 0 0.01. Type 2 error means we fail to reject false null hypothesis. That is, a person goes to a test for COVID-19, actually the person has no such a disease, he's healthy, but the doctors after some test make a claim that this person is with COVID-19. So here the doctors made a type 2 error. The probability of a type 2 error in hypothesis test is denoted beta. So here we have a table regarding possible hypothesis test outcomes with or without errors. When H0 is true, when we do not reject H0, we make no error. If we reject H0, we have a type 1 error. We control the probability of type 1 error to be alpha. On the other hand, if H0 is false, we do not reject it, we make a type 2 error, we reject it, we make no error. This is with probability 1 minus beta. 1 minus beta is the power of a hypothesis test. Regarding type 2 errors, there can be different factors affecting the error. Assuming all else equal, Beta increases when the difference between hypothesized parameter and its true value decreases. Second, beta increases when alpha decreases. Third, type 2 error chance beta increases when the population standard deviation sigma increases. Fourth, the type 2 error probability beta increases when the sample size n decreases.